It's me, Jessica. I'm in here. People are going to be looking for me. You got to believe me. I'm warning you. Please, I'm Jessica. Ah. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> oh. Ah, how do you fake that? What's going on, Flix Talkers? Welcome back to another movie reaction. This time, my first time watching 2002's The Hot Chick. Now, let me start this video off by saying I am having a very crappy day, and the way that I handle crappy moods is I throw some comedy from the late 90s, early 2000s. I'm talking about that Happy Madison, Judd Apatow type of raunchy humor. The stuff that I grew up on that is definitely not PC in 2022. So now that spooky season, October has finally come to an end, I can get back to watching movies other than horror. Now, if you came to my channel thinking that I was only gonna watch award-winning stuff, you're sadly wrong because just based off of this poster right here, I can definitely tell you that it did not win any awards. But other than Rob Schneider, it does star Rachel McAdams and Anna Ferris, And I'm like, I really do like those two actresses, especially in the early 2000s when Rob Schneider reigned king. I mean, for the most part, I've seen a majority of his movies. I think a lot of his humor is funny. I thought he was great in SNL. And I'll just be honest, I need a dumb, laughable movie right now. And you guys voted for it. So if you hate this movie, then Blame the Flix Talk community. So enough talking, let's get to watching. But before we do, if you guys want to show love and support the channel, make sure to always hit that big thumbs up and consider subscribing today where I do more movie reactions like this, trailer reactions, and live streams three times a week here on the channel. And if you guys want to check out full length reactions, make sure to check out my Patreon down below where I have a lot of perks and extra content not available on YouTube. All right, guys, so without further ado, let's get into 2002's The Hot Chick. I gotta say, I am a fan of all the offensive roles that Rob Schneider plays, by the way. He plays a lot of ethnic offensive roles, and I'm one that... Oh, this is a Happy Medicine production. Okay, cool. I didn't know if this was or not. I know in 2022 that shit doesn't fly, but... Satire. It's, it's, it's satire to me. It's jokes. If it's jokes, it doesn't matter to me. Got the bling bling. My wedding dress. Quickly, put it on. Soon you'll live your life in jewels and not chains. Oh, it's... Oh, we got a little switch. Come, child. Your groom awaits you. She's like, <laughs> I'm out of here now. She definitely didn't want to get married, it seemed like. Oh my God, this is crazy to see Rachel McAdams. I'm pretty sure Academy Award winner, or at least nominee, as a cheerleader. <laughs> Boys are cheats and liars. They're such a big disgrace. They will tell you anything to get to second baseball. Baseball, he thinks he's gonna score. If you let him go all the way, then you are a whore. To culture studies flowers. Is it just me or Anna Ferris and... Oh my God! To be all wrapped up in licious. All wrapped up. Tia Tamara? Ling Ling, you forgot lunch, baby pie. Thanks, mom. <laughs> okay, you all learn real good now. Learn real good. Ling Ling, can somebody answer the phone? Out of all the Korean liquor stores, why did my dad have to walk into that one? <laughs> I was going to say, Rachel McAdams and Anna Ferris really do look like high schoolers. But then again, Rachel McAdams did Mean Girls right around the same time, right? Oh my god, this is so early 2000s, man. I love it. That's what girls do. Oh, Lord in heaven, this is crazy. <laughs> she had the Powerpuff Girl shirt. Oh my god. Mm, how much do I owe you? It's okay. It's on the house. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All the teenage sexual innuendo back then. Jessica, you look great. Are you doing something different or just hanging out with skankier friends? <laughs> oh, burn. Wow, Bianca, you look really good too. Um, are you eating less or just barfing more? <laughs> <laughs> barfing more. It, wait, that girl looks familiar, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
<laughs> oh, they tackled her ass. Let's go, Winona. <laughs> this is around that time, huh? Let's go, Winona. And Booza. She's like, I gotta go into this store. Oh. This is kind of cool. Oh, my. Can I help you, ladies? Oh, yeah, what is this? Oh, yeah, I like that, too. It's actually a Senegalese loot. <laughs> Fertility rituals. Oh, and you can put your weed in there. <laughs> you put your weed in there. It's actually a model of the prison on Robin Island where Nelson Mandela was held for 27 years. Wow. Yeah. A lot of people don't realize this, but you can put your weed in there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Isn't this... You can put your weed in there. Isn't it like an SNL skit? I want to say. Look at Adam Sandler, dude. Something drew her to that store, I was going to say. And it was that box, those earrings. <laughs> Dude, Anna Ferris's eyes. <sighs> oh, her friends know exactly what she's up to. She's the real Winona. <laughs> Is that all you got? $18? Motherfucker's gonna steal all the. What the cheese? <laughs> In the bag. Oh, gross. <laughs> um, excuse me. The gas cap's on that side. <laughs> and, um, could you, like, check the oil and all that other junk under the hood? Minimum wage for a maximum loser. <laughs> oh, what a bunch of... Oh, my gosh. He's getting more and more diabolical as the movie progresses. Oh my god, they're- Oh, wait a minute, isn't that the kid from- Oh my god, he was like in every Disney movie. Or show, you know? It's not Joey Lawrence, but it's like related- The dad is reading Playboy right next to his wife? Oh, they're setting it up. I mean, she's living on cloud nine. Rob Schneider is not. I don't know what I'd do if things weren't so perfect. I'm so glad you're my best friend. So she's wearing the one earring still. He's the, the fool's gonna put it on? Oh god, is that how they're gonna transport? <laughs> I was wondering how. <laughs> and he's literally there. But are they gonna see him as her or? You don't feel something different? No! Only in the early 2000s, man, I swear. April! 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 You stay away from me! I have pepper spray on my keychain! Remember those big ass keychains? It's me, Jessica! I'm in here! People are gonna be looking for me! You gotta believe me! I'm warning you! Please, I'm Jessica! <laughs> I was waiting for that! <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah, how do you fake that? Damn! Props to the stunt guy on that one. I gave you that locket! around your neck when your grandmother was sick. Oh. <laughs> you said we'd be bestest friends forever. This is so silly. <laughs> so, uh, do you really have a penis? Oh my God. That's the thing April. she's thinking about right now. Can I see it? What is the matter with you? Low key, that's what friends would if Hello? Why, who is this? I should have made love to you when I had the chance. Oh. <laughs> Father Mokei?
<laughs> oh no, they went there with the priest joke. <laughs> pillow five, pillow five. Oh, Rob Schneider must have been loving this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know your own strength, huh? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now that was a happy medicine scene right there. There you are. You're the gardener from the service, right? See. Si. Damn lawn's a mess. It's my daughter's responsibility to look after it. Teenage Eros. Sorry, Richie Spencer. Taquito? Oh, Taquito. Oh. I'll let you get to it. <laughs> Taquito. Hope you don't mind a light beer. I had to cut back on account of the bloating. I also had to give up the spicy food on account of my asshole. <laughs> We're amongst men, aren't we? Stinko de Mayo. <laughs> Stinko de Mayo. I even got out the razor and gave myself a porn star trim. Want to see? Check it out. Yeah, guys. Guys, don't do that. There's some powerful occult magic at work here. Like an ancient spell. Or voodoo. Or Santeria. It originated in Africa, and then eventually made its way to Cuba and Brazil. Bianca! Bears the mark of the scorpion tattooed on their back. Bianca's always hanging out at that dance club. Instant tang. Yeah, tonight's ladies' night, and we all get in for free! <laughs> well, most of us. Like the same. What? Nothing. <laughs> oh, she digging him? That, that's eight ninety five. Aren't you just gonna take it out of your tip jar? <laughs> <laughs> Did work in its favor this time. The club is called Instant Tang. Schneider looks like a good party, man. Like a good time to be around. <laughs> he came through a twerk and he's like, hey. Check out the sweet buns on that guy. Like to get my hands on those. And wish they were women's breasts and squeeze the hell out of them. Boy. He's like, gays ain't welcome in my club. Oh my god. Early 2000s white girls dancing is the funniest sh ever. Yo. <laughs> Shake your pants. <laughs> Watch yourself. Shake your pants. Show me what you're working with. What a scene. Definitely not her. Hey, everybody. Hey, Check out this guy. Not being in his chick's panties. Yeah, some of these gags are going on too long and they're not landing. But if you're one of those shy guys, you should try that stall there. Oh. Uh. What the f***? You're good at that. Make it look so easy. <laughs> Why don't you just take a picture? Oh. Oh. I've never done this before. It's going all over. It's going everywhere. You've got to hold on to it. Oh. Not too tight. What in the world? Aren't you that chick who's having sex with that college guy? No. Wanna be? <laughs> <laughs> She's not interested, okay? What are you, their pimp, and these are your skank hoes? <sighs> you and me, right now. Show me what you got! Come on. Oh my god, with the claws! <laughs> You're like, what? Some kind of Thai queer dough. Thai queer dough. Oh my god, the biting. What about the hair pulling? <laughs> Go for the hair pulling. Kick him in the crotch. Oh, got the hair, see? <laughs> you think you're so cool because you can pee with your penis.
you think you're so cool because you can pee with your penis. <laughs> Someone actually wrote that line. I gotta do what? You know what? It's already been like an hour and they, or well less, like probably 40 minutes and they haven't even showed Rachel McAdams. I just, I just didn't notice because we've had so much Rob Schneider mayhem. Senor, sometimes when a woman is ignoring you, that's when she wants you the most. You must get a lot of enchilada, Taquito. <laughs> See, that's why you gotta have a spare, man. That's what April is. She's my spare. Spare? Ooh. Yeah, she's my backup. I mean, she was a fun ride, no doubt about this, but she is a previously owned vehicle. I'm into that new car smell. You asshole! Whoever left these towels over here. I mean, I know she thinks I only want to have sex with her. Man, when that moment comes, I want it to be perfect. Wow. That is the gayest thing I have ever heard. Gay, 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 gay. <gasps> Somebody sh in the locker. Oh my god, this guy is an emotional wreck. Oh, that is her. Oh, oh thank god. <sighs> How much money you got? What? How much money you got? About $40. That your car? That's my dad's. You know that. <laughs> Give me the keys. Hey, uh, so, uh, w uh, what'd you say your name was? Billy. Oh, yeah. Take it easy, Bobby. Bobby? <laughs> it's Billy. <laughs> I'm much more interested in seeing Rachel McAdams as Rob Schneider. Where's Jessica? Don't worry, Miss Bernard. She'll be here. Dude, how are they gonna spin this literally in front of everyone? Rob Schneider and the cheer squad. Let's go kick some ass. Okay. Well, I guess that's how they're gonna do it. They're just going to the judging? How come they didn't even question what that guy's doing there? It appears the older gentleman in the B outfit with the fake boobs is the school janitor. School employees are allowed to be mascots. Say hello to your new champions, the Bridgestown Honeys! Bro, <laughs> this movie is getting wackier and wackier. Police are now searching for the hot chick bandit. We went into the alley and then she starts wailing on me. And let me tell you, she didn't hit like a girl. I kind of get a little antsy here. <laughs> I don't. I, I want to give my review so bad already. The kid knows. Jesse, it is you. How come you didn't snitch on me? Cause you're my sister, and I accept you for who you are. That's a good message. Cause he, well, she, Jesse accepts him for who he is. The little boy. That I like. That. That message I do like. Ling Ling! L to the I to the N to the G. Bro, is that Aquafina? <laughs> ling Ling! You forgot your bling bling. Mom, <laughs> you're ruining my life. <laughs> you're ruining my life. I just want to meet you halfway. She had a Superman chain. Nigga, please. Right in front of Tia and Tamira, too. Mom, I'm sorry. But why do you have to keep embarrassing me in front of my friends? She a lowrider? You're not ashamed of me. You're really ashamed of yourself. Tell Lulu. Easy on the chronic. Bro, the mom? <laughs> Got a lowrider just for that gimmick. Oh, I knew it! 
Oh, I'm going to get to the bottom of it. What is happening? This woman just keeps getting injured left and right. Here he comes. That dress looks great. Is it easy to get out of? Who is this girl? She really looks familiar. Mm, now he's jelly. <laughs> Jake is so jealous. He spilled his drink all over his day. You should have seen. Oh my God. Anna, Anna is smitten, man. She is like. Spence, I love you. I love you too, April. You're my best friend and now you're a guy. It's meant to be. Wow. She's already got her best friend inside of him. And she digs him physically, it seems like. Which, I don't know how that's possible, but okay. Mm -hmm. He's just gonna have to accept me as I am. A man. <laughs> a man. <laughs> Bro, who thought this would fly back in the day? Hello. I it. <laughs> I didn't see it coming. No way, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a huge bitch. I don't think so. I was waiting for some Happy Madison stuff, though. That's a huge bitch. Jessica. It's always been me. No. No. No, it can't be. You gotta believe me. Silly. Billy. Lily. I can't! I can't do it! You always said you'd love me no matter what. <laughs> You're a 30 year old dude! 30? 30. Billy! Rob Schneider's definitely pushing 40, 45 maybe in this movie. <laughs> Come on. Polecat? So Rob Schneider, the, I already forgot the Rob Schneider's character's name. But he's like, I'm going to work this body, get some money. <laughs> That's funny. I'll make a deal, okay? Just let me make another 500 bucks tonight, okay? And then I'll give you your body back. And then you can just loan it to me every other weekend. And so I can pay off some gambling debts. Hey. No way. Jessica? Oh. 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 So dancing naked must be fun, huh? Where do you keep your weed, though? <laughs> oh, she looks so sad. He's gonna turn back. You'll always be my best friend. Oh, Forever. There it is, girl. Come on, shake it. Woo, you naughty little honeybee. Yes, you are. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, the transformation. Billy. <laughs> I love how they're trying to play it like so magical and romantic now after all of the stuff that we just saw. Billy. Do you feel that? You are the only boy who makes my heart beat faster and slower at the same time. <sighs> Trying to understand that, I don't really understand it. Hey. He's trying to wait. On stage, little lady. The only place this little lady is going is home with me and my wife. Hey, what kind of a place do you think I'm running here, pal? <laughs> <laughs> now, see, another good line. Ling Ling Jackson. What's her name? Letitia Ling Ling Jackson? I'd like to say I'm very proud to be half Korean. Thanks. 
Thank you, honey. You are so one quarter Jewish. Mazel tov, baby. Shalom. Hey, how's it going? Hey, thanks for helping me out, man. You're a good man. You're a good guy. Oh, the guy from the bar. Oh my god. Bye. The whole time he was gay. <laughs> oh my god, so many questions. Nope, that was 2002's The Hot Chick. Alright, Flick Soccer. So I started off this video by saying I was having a crappy day. And I gotta say, I think I may be having a crappier day after that watch of The Hot Chick. Starring Rob Schneider, Anna Ferris, and Rachel McAdams for the most part. I mean, there was a lot of recognizable faces along the way. And a cameo from Adam Sandler. Who can forget that cameo of, I guess, like a Rastafarian stoner? I don't know, always talking about putting weed in places. So, once again, can someone confirm if that was an actual SNL bit? Because I could have sworn I've seen someone do that, either on Mad TV or on SNL. So, that being said, the overall movie. Let's just get into some of my likes. So, I liked some of the gags for the most part. I mean, a lot of the one-liner scenes really hit for me. That was kind of like, you know, the laugh out loud moments, as well as, you know, the performances. I think if you're gonna watch this movie, just not even knowing anything about it, the performances are probably what's gonna get you. Either once again, from Anna Ferris, who always, ah, you know, over-exaggerating with the big mouth and the wide eyes, you know, really big eyes and big energy and stuff like that. Love Anna Ferris. She's perfect for that. All of her performances in the Scary Movie franchise are great. Very, very top-notch. I love Anna Ferris. And Rachel McAdams, at least... Rachel McAdams in the beginning of this film, I mean, towards the middle and, you know, part of the end of the movie, we see her very vaguely, and then, of course, the review at the end where the transformation happens. But I think I gotta say that she was probably the best actor in this movie and she had the least amount of screen time. And that's kind of where it ends for my likes, guys. And I know it's not many because the cons definitely outweigh my movie experience in this movie and the writing, God. Even though we had some great one-liner gags that where I was like, the writing is great for this. You know, the one note beat type of joke was funny. You know, situational humor is funny. But for every one or two gags that you had that really hit, you had a 10, 20 minutes of filler in between that just lagged and it just went on and it didn't hit me like I thought it would and by the way this was an Happy Madison production it did not feel like a Happy Madison production whatsoever I think they really try to focus more on making this like an actual movie that most people that aren't Adam Sandler fans can enjoy just with a hint of Adam Sandlerism thrown in there and it's kind of hard to really balance, you know, the comedy and the dramatic and the realism and the fact that they want you to feel for these characters that you really don't care about too much. I mean, they introduce like her whole band of friends and Ling Ling and the sister sister actresses and the big friend and it's like, you don't really care about these characters, but they show them on screen so much. Also, the backstory at the beginning of this film kind of showing our Freaky Friday transformation type of switch throughout the whole movie and how to get back the transformation, you know, it, I just didn't care. Like, I, I really didn't care too much about this. And I know this is one of those movies where you kind of shut your brain off, but so many people voted for me to watch this and it... It just wasn't that funny, if I'm being completely honest. Yes, I did laugh and chuckle at a lot of bits once again, but it didn't have any rewatch value. Like, I don't want to add this to my collection whatsoever. I'm so glad I saw it on a streamer. But I do give it up once again for the performances. I mean, Rob Schneider running around half naked most of the time or in really, really tight clothing. That takes balls. That really does take balls. And I, I guess he did a good job. I don't know. It was really, once again, I... I really much rather would have seen a movie switch with Rachel McAdams as the main kind of lead of her act and like this, you know, Rob Schneider guy inside, trapped inside of her. Like, she seemed a little more rough and tough when it came to that. He just seemed, I don't know, it didn't, it didn't, I don't know. Maybe it's a visual gag of everything that really just didn't suck me into it. I don't know. So I don't want to make this review too long, guys. So I think I'm going to have to give 2022's The Hot Chick a solid 2 out of 5. 
All right, Flick Talkers, I'm sure since a lot of you guys voted for me to watch this, your ranking might be a lot higher than mine. So you guys let me know, what do you rank the hot chick out of five? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys want to show love and support the channel, make sure to hit that big thumbs up and consider subscribing today where I do more movie reactions like this, trailer reactions and live streams three times a week here on the channel. Also, if you guys want to check out my full reaction to this film, Raw and Uncut, make sure to check out my Patreon link down in the description below, which included a lot more laughs, not included in this YouTube edit. All right, Flick Stalkers, till next one, I'm gone. Peace.